time for talks interest began with an awareness that inside Kennett's city limits lies the Delmo subdivision located at the end of Independence Avenue across the highway from Masterson Elementary School. Facing Dunklin Street, which is its circular thoroughfare, are houses reminiscent of the late 1930s and early 1940s when they were built. Sometimes called the Colony, this subdivision didn't become a part of Kennett in an ordinary way. That investigation led to an extremely interesting facet of Boot Hill history. Uh, did you did you buy your house from the people who developed this? Yes, I did. And and how did you how did you get your house? Did you uh, did you bid on a house? No, uh, it was the people that first lived here. See, I first lived here when the government uh, uh, when the government done built these houses. Now, why did the government build these houses? For low rent. For low for people that's you know, lived out on the farm. Okay, did you have to have just a certain amount of money? Did you have to have just no, a certain uh -uh. income? No. Uh -uh. Well, uh, but they didn't sell them to rich people. Well, and the city of Kennett tried to get it. They was going to make rent houses out of these, and they couldn't. Oh, they were going to make, the city wanted to make rent that's houses. I heard, I don't know now that to be the fact. Okay, and, but the government somehow developed this. Do yes, you know yes. more about that? The, the government well, developing it? Who? No. Uh, and they developed it for, did they go into many towns like this and build these houses? Yes, they did. They they got one at uh, Wardell, or in East Prairie too, I think. East Prairie, Wardell? I think so. Sort of yeah, there's one, uh, I know there's one at Wardell. And you were farming when you heard about these houses for sale? No, we had, we lived down in the swampland down there uh, below Cruz, and the water got our crop. Okay. And uh, now what year are we talking about? What year did, did you move here? Let's see. Well, I think in 40 or 41. I don't know exactly. Okay. But uh, you lived in number 21 first. 22. 22 first. Uh -huh. and, and you bought that new? No, no, no. Yeah, I just rented did. that. Just rented, rented it. it. Just, I was the first person to live there, and I rented it. And then when uh, this firm in St. Louis bought these houses, well, they had the first people that lived here would have a, uh, would get the first choice at these houses. After that, the soldier boys. Okay, so you could walk around and look at what houses no, were no, being... No, 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 uh-uh. We had, we was, my husband was in the civil service. Yeah. And we had some friends here, and they uh, wrote us a letter and told us that they were selling these houses, and they were selling them to the people that lived here first. And so they, uh, we told them, uh, we sent in a $100 deposit. They told her, with and she sent in $100. Uh -huh. And uh, so they picked this house for me. My friends did. This one that you uh -huh. live in now. But somebody had already lived in it because they rented it. Okay, all right. And we moved in here in, uh, well, uh, this first of November, it's been 48 years. Okay, uh, and it was in 1941. I think so, 40 or 41, okay. I believe. Uh, is that about the time all the people bought these houses and moved No, in? no, 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 uh-uh, they never bought them until, uh, let's see, my daughter was born here and she's 47. You know, count back. So they bought them about when you bought yours. They bought mine just a little bit before she did. Okay. Uh -huh. We we moved, we bought ours way back in the summer, but they had uh, they had furniture stored in ours. See, they had stoves and tables and beds and chests and everything. And do you remember what the price was for the Yes, house? it was. It was uh, six hundred dollars. And you sent in a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And then, do you know how much you paid a month? I don't. Pearl remembered the uh, seven forty-five. Yeah, I believe that's about right. I don't know exactly. Uh -huh. So, so you've come along with seven forty-five. Yeah. Know, was that hard to come up with every month? Well, it was pretty. Uh, was pretty hard because times was really rough about yeah. that time. Yeah. And they began to get better, so uh -huh. it began to get much easier. But we've improved these houses. I spent. I bet I spent five thousand dollars or more on yeah. my house yeah. uh, just to not 
not the upkeep, just the building it up. May Pearl was remembering the wash house that used to be. Yeah. You didn't mm -hmm. have water here. No, we didn't yeah. have water. May Pearl was remembering the wash house that the whole community Yeah, could that's use. right. That's right. And then she said uh, there was a church. It was uh, either torn down or made into a church building or something. Uh, no, at first uh, it was a clubhouse. It was a clubhouse. Uh huh. They had a club there. And then after that, why, these people from California bought that and uh, they tore that building down. They made a church. They built that church. Okay, now the, the people who came from California, uh, was, this, uh, was this Abernathy's? Yes, uh, it was. And they came here to get away from the earthquake because yeah. California was going to drop in. They called them the earthquakers. <laughs> the earthquakers? Yeah, I'm the only one that, that's uh, lived here that's left of the ones that first lived here that rented. I'm oh. the only one. Okay. They was Glenn Barnes and Roy Rather. They was, uh, they both passed away. Everybody that's out here, they either moved away or died. I'm the only one that's lived here from the time it was established up until now. Now, did you, were you able to get your choice of houses if you rented, you could get your choice? You didn't have to have a drawing to see who got no, the, what uh, They what just told us the ones that was left. Uh, they, we rented them. Yeah. And the, then the people, see, we was farm workers. Yeah. And the farm workers is the one they built this place for. Okay, good. All and right. then after, uh, after that, uh, my husband went to work for the, uh, civil service okay and they made us move out of 22 because they said we didn't qualify for the house okay all uh, right. we was in the civil service yeah so how did you get this one well because we first lived here it was for the people that first lived here okay and we lived here first so you did you were able to get that's one. right all right mm -hmm. but the idea behind it it was for farm workers that's who right. had very low little income. low uh -huh. income that's people. right that's which is which is a good idea. They have several of these. I don't know. Uh, I believe they had one of these per and Wardell, but they had several more of these. I believe there was eight or nine of them. But the man that sold these houses was Mr. Rogers. He was yes. from St. Louis. Uh, May Pearl was remembering yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the Rogers well, name. Yeah. That's yeah. where you sent your hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the clubhouse a while ago. It was the wash house first. And then well, it was the clubhouse? Yeah. And what was the clubhouse? Who who used it? What was it? Well, it's uh, uh, they sent a lady down here, and she was uh, overseer of it. And then all the women out here, they went over there, and they worked. And uh, 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 what kind of work? What did they do? What well, did this lady who was the overseer, what did, well, what did she, she oversee? I don't know. she just come down, and people would go to all these different places, and they'd teach them stuff, you know, how to cook and how to oh, sew and okay. all that stuff. Okay. And did you ever go there? No, uh, I never went to none of the places only over here. And all we had over here was just business meetings. Okay. When I lived on the farm, I took all that training of cooking and uh, canning. But after I come out here, I took it again. They learned us how to use these pressure cookers so yeah. we could can. At this clubhouse? No, right about. here in this house. Where they Which, put, is this blue uh, house? Right there wasn't nobody lived in there at that time. And that was a house where all the women met, and they taught them how to use a pressure cooker. Okay. And they had a, a, a kindergarten out here, too, where you could send uh, the, the small children. And the government, the government Sponsor workers that. sponsored uh, the learning of the right. how to how to do all. Now that was before they sold to the the parties in St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't know before they sold to the parties in St. Louis. Uh huh. All this was government. We we had to pay. We had to work. We paid so much a month, and the, and the women worked at this kindergarten thing over here, and we had to work four hours a week. And the men cleaned the ditches. They okay, all of you women, the the wives, the uh, that the, wanted to. If the men, you know, if your man was working and he didn't have time to clean no ditches or work, why the women worked at the, uh, over there at that kindergarten place? Okay, now this was expected of everybody that lived in there. Or this house. lady had an office over here. The the lady that run the club. Yeah. And she had an office in there, uh, right over here on this second house here down here. And uh, she had her office in there, and you could clean that office too. So you, so th some sort of community service was uh -huh, required. That's right. And if your man could clean the ditches, you, right. then that was four hours that a week was required, and that was 16 hours a month. 
and and but if he was working and he couldn't do that, then you could help with the kindergarten. Yes, or you that's could right. Make, so this was only for a few years. The only well, for the, it was, a, it was a, quite a while. Six, eight, ten years. When we were sharecropping up north of Kennedy here. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that wasn't the way we got it. We just said it's for low in, low income people. Okay, low income sharecroppers yeah. may pearl at which we would were qualify. Low, low, low income. You were low. Yes, if you were sharecroppers, you were low income. <laughs> Made pretty well. <laughs> well, and then every house got water, didn't they? No, we no. never did have water till we bought them. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I uh, put the water in my own house. Okay. And what year? Do you remember what year you got water out here? No, I don't. We didn't have, they didn't have that a pump on the back porch? No, I had a pump out in the yard. Pump in the yard? Yeah. yeah. And did, uh, yeah. and how did you take a bath? Well, in a galvanized long tub. <laughs> like right. we did back when we lived on the and, farm. And you pulled it in the wintertime? Huh? In the, in the wintertime? Well, yeah. You have to take a bath. It's winter or summer. And some of you are watching this, and you some of you remember this, even if you don't admit it. And the rest of you are saying, I can't believe people ever had to live like that here. But these ladies that we've been talking to live in the colony. They're some of the earliest people. They're sisters-in-law, I think, are you? Sisters-in-law, and we have been in the colony today talking with... Two ladies who remember the way it used to be here in Kennett. And the next time you pass this turn off or drive into the colony, you think, well, there's a lot of history gone into Kennett here. Duncan County did not have the only uh, uh, project that went on in uh, in this section of the country. In fact, every every county had its own project. We are here just out of Pascola, just out of Wardell, here in Pemiscot County, and you see the exact same thing as the as the colony. You see, it was begun as a low-rent housing by the government, and then the people were allowed to buy their own places. But you see a typical thing here. You see this long, uh, low building that housed the offices. Uh, then you see uh, the washroom. You see the areas that were in common usage by all of the people here. Uh, water was not available, city water was not available, and so one one place had all of the washing facilities, much as it was in Kennett. The colony certainly is, is typical of things that went on in this boot hill of southeast Missouri in the 30s and early 40s. Well, that concludes our series on the history of the boot hill of Missouri. It's been brief. We could have made an epic out of it and uh, actually had problems not doing that. There's so many things that could have been said and many of you have made valuable comments. Remember this, the story has not ended. You have been watching Time for...